And in my last Beast Storm Simulator video, I killed the sub snail only using basic beads. Yeah, this hive is a little cursed. And in this video, I decided to spice things up a little bit. Because today, instead of only using basic beads to kill the sub snail, I am only gonna use tadpoles, which only have 0 0.5 attack. Yeah, this might be a little difficult. So yeah, if you guys do end up enjoying this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It really does help support me. And as you can see, I'm instead of the Beast Storm Test Realm on the fresh account. Right now, I have absolutely nothing, but I'm gonna fix that in just a second. So really quickly, let's get the buffs, get all B eggs, and auto claim the badges. Stop! Oh, I have so many different eggs. I wonder which B I should hatch. Okay, you guys know I'm joking, right? I'm only gonna use tadpoles in this video, and I can't imagine how long it's gonna take to kill the sump snail. But hey, at least it's a mythic bee instead of a common bee. So I really do think I suffered quite a bit with a basic bee, because it only does one attack, and it gives absolutely zero abilities. But the thing with tadpole is that it does 0.5 attack. So yeah, tadpoles are quite garbage for attack, but I'm gonna have to kill the toughest boss inside of B-Swarm using them. So I guess wish me luck, guys. And there we go, I got myself 25 tadpole bees. But there is only one problem. I literally only have one B-type, and to use red cannon, you need 25. So the only time in this video that I'm gonna cheat is to use some star eggs to unlock some more B-types. But I'm obviously gonna return it back to the tadpole bee, so no worries. Don't cancel me, guys. I'm just trying to make my life a little easier. And there we go, I got myself 25 different B-types. So I'm sorry, Vector B, you're going back to a tadpole. And now let's go to the top shop. And here I can buy 25 more hive slots, which means I'll be able to get even more of the best attack bee inside of B-Swarm. I'm talking about the tadpole, of course. And I maxed out my hive slots. Now I'm officially poor. So let's also cop the glider and all this stuff, which I'll probably replace later on. Nice. And I should probably convert the 2.1 trillion pull inside of my backpack. Not sure how that got there. I guess I accidentally did a bit of off-camera grinding. Oh yeah, so fortunately for me, I don't have to gift and level up every single tadpole in my hive because there's this button, which if you step on it, it makes every single bee in your hive level 20 and gifted. It's pretty convenient. So now it's time to get 25 more tadpole bees inside of my hive and suffer even further. And there we go. 50 tadpole bees inside a bee swarm and only six minutes of playtime. Seems legit. And now it's time to level up and gift the rest of my bees. And there we go, I now have 50 tadpoles that are gifted. But the suffering isn't over yet. Now I have to get the best possible amulets to get as much attack as possible. Because obviously when you have 50 bees that do 0.5 attack each, you're gonna need quite a bit of attack to make up for that small number. Bro, look at all this baby love spawning, dude. I do not want to hear this many children happy. I'm assuming I'm gonna hear the sound quite a bit in this video. Anyway, let's start off with the cog amulet. Wait, plus 2 bee attack. I kind of forgot about this, but blue bee attack is extremely common. Especially on amulets. So yeah, the one one good thing about this video is blue bee attack. Okay, yeah, I think this is the best that I'm gonna do. So let's just replace for plus two blue bee attack. And now we can move on to the Supreme Star Amulet. So obviously the best possible combination for a blue attack hive is Pop Star and Star Saw. So that's exactly what I have to get. And my first Pop Saw Amulet. Although it is kind of dog water. I get 7% bee ability rate. I get 7% bee ability rate from this amulet, which should give me 7% more tokens. But bro, what tokens do I need? What is this tadpole gonna spawn? Some more bubbles? Like, I don't think bubbles do it. Attack. I'm gonna replace for now, but I'm gonna try and go for something better. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Let's move on to the moon amulet. And I'm just gonna take the first amulet I get. Six bond from treats and 11% bond from battle. The best attack amulet ever. Now the supreme ant amulet. So this one's pretty simple. I need plus one B attack, critical chance, and critical power. Okay, this is actually quite good. 48 critical power, three critical chance, plus one B attack. Let's go. Let's replace. Next up is the diamond stick bug amulet. Now this can also give me plus two B attack. Okay, this is low key perfect. Plus one B attack attack and plus two blue bee attack let's go that is so good next up is a supreme shell amulet so give me some defense and i'll be happy bro i just got it and then i replaced it like an idiot all right there we go five percent defense nice and lastly we have the king beetle amulet and usually i would try and go for plus one bee attack but dude i have 50 tadpole bees that do less than one attack per bee where every single one of them does less than one attack so i think i should be good with plus one blue bee attack now that i've got my hive and my amulets complete i need to get the best gear possible so I'm gonna have to get the coconut canister, the demon mask, and all that stuff. And first of all, I'm gonna get myself the pedal belt. And let me explain why. Uh, people like telling me I forget the pedal belt quite a bit as a joke. Guys, it's not funny. Stop. So yeah, if I see a single comment telling me that I forgot the pedal belt, I'm gonna ban you. It's on my waist, dude. I have the pedal belt. All right, moving on. I have to kill the coconut crab. And let's do a little speedrun. I love speedrunning the coconut crab to see how good my attack hive is. So let's use a nectar tester, marshmallow bee, because why not? Super smoothie. And I think I should be ready. And I think I'm ready for the world record. Let's see how much of a world record I can get only using tadpole bees. Okay, tadpoles attack. Come on, I believe in you. We're doing quite a bit of damage, surprisingly. Dude, they're only doing like 100 damage per hit.
it. Okay, yeah, you know what? I take it back. It's nothing. This attack hive is absolutely horrendous, but I'm still gonna have to speedrun killing the stump snail. So bear with me, guys. It's gonna be quite a bit of suffering. And there we go. Coconut crab is dead in exactly 30 seconds. Now that I secured the number one spot on the fastest crab slayer's leaderboard, I can call up myself the coconut clogs and the coconut canister. And after that, I need to get the best boots in the game. Trip a question. What are the best boots in the game? Oh yeah, gumdrop boots. Let's go. I love gumdrop boots. Gumdrop boots are so good. Now we can teleport like a hacker back to my hive. Please no one report me. I think that guy might have saw me teleport. Yeah, please don't think I'm a hacker. I'm just using worldly gigs, dude. Next step is to go inside of the ace shop and call up the best sprinkler, the supreme saturator, the cobalt guard, the crimson guard, and the honey mask. Not like I'm gonna use the honey mask, but it's just the sexiest mask in the game, okay? I have to buy it for the memes. But the actual mask that I'm gonna use is a demon mask. It's the best mask for attack inside the entire game. But first, I'm gonna buy the fire mask for the passive. It carries on to the demon mask. And I also have to get the dark scythe. I have probably the best gear inside of the game and 50 gifted tactical bees and only 23 minutes of playtime. What does that tell you about the test realm? If you don't think the beast from test realm is OP after watching this, well, I don't know what else to tell you. It's a little OP. Unfortunately, there isn't a button that will make my life easier where I can just get the demon mask by stepping on it. So I have to do the parkour like a peasant and get to the demon mask every single time. But yeah, look at this. This gives me some more defense, 25 e attack. 20 bar. Yeah, it's a very good mask, okay? So let's buy it. And I think I have the best gear possible in the entire game, and I'm dead. Why? Look at that smile. I'm smiling upside down. That means I'm sad. Even though I have the best amulets and hive in the entire game, I'm not done just yet, because something I have to do for every single attack hive is get the attack mutation on every single bee. Let me show you. If you use atomic treats, you have a small chance of getting the attack mutation on your bees. There we go. Plus six attack. So I had to use 11 atomic treats to get one bee with attack. Uh, I have a feeling this might take a little while, but I'm not going to make you watch me suffer. So I guess enjoy the time lapse of me suffering. So you guys can just sit back and relax and watch me suffer even further. And there we go. Now every single tactical bee inside of my hive has the attack mutation. I'll be honest, this is probably the most cursed thing I've ever done. And now I think it's finally time that I attempt the longest part of the video. Well, first, let's kill the Mondo chick so it doesn't cause any lag. Because we all know how important it is to have zero lag in the server. And I'm sure 50 gifted tadpoles won't do anything to lag the server at all. What does a Mondo blessing even give? I kind of forgot. Okay, nothing that benefits the attack. Unfortunately, dude. Imagine you got like plus one attack from the blessing. That would help so much, but I guess not. I guess I have to suffer a little more. So right here, I've got myself a speedrun timer. I can make it very thick. That's a little too thick. So I remember that it took me like 19 minutes and 50 seconds to kill the sump snail only using basic bees. So by by that logic, if I kill a stump snail in under 40 minutes only using tadpole bees, I'm gonna be pretty happy. All these bubbles, there are way too many bubbles. Why are there so many bubbles? Let's pop the super smoothie again, refresh it, and I also need coconuts and singers inside of my inventory. Sprinkler, jelly bean. Bro, why are there meteor showers? No, this is gonna lock the game. All right, let's also refresh all of my nectars, and I think I'm ready, top inside of the field. So I guess toss some jelly beans, activate the coconuts, and start the speedrun timer. All right, we are ready to slay. And as fast of a time as possible. Yeah, so as you can see, with only tadpole bees, I have 10,000 attack total, which is kind of surprising. I think with the basic bees, I had around 13,000 attack total. Oh, dude, 11,000. Wow. Okay, let's get that dark heat, which gives me super crit chance and instant ride ability conversion. Okay, I'll be honest, that is kind of dog water. It doesn't really do much for me. But dude, why are there so many tadpoles? This is such a scam. Only gonna lag the game, I'll be honest. But at least the meteor shower is over, so less suffering for me. Oh, yeah, I have to turn on my coconuts again. Dude, all these bubbles are just hurting my ears. Some snail got hit on the head with a coconut, and dude, wait, why am I doing this much damage? I've already done like 2.5 million damage in only one minute. What? I guess tadpole B attack hive is just that OP? Nothing more to say. It's just that good. Best strategy confirmed. No, no but I'm not even kidding. Why is this doing so much damage? Is Am I doing something different? Are, are bubbles actually doing attack this time? Because I was joking when I said bubbles do attack. They shouldn't, in theory. Well, I guess when I said this is the best attack hive possible, I wasn't lying, because it is actually quite good. All right, we're almost down to 5 million damage in less than 2 minutes. Alright, well, it's over 2 minutes now. But still, dude, I did 5 million damage in 2 minutes and 25 seconds. Very good. Very OP hive. And I'm honestly kind of enjoying this, dude. Why am I having fun inside a B game? Usually, I'm only supposed to suffer. X-Flame, here it goes again. Maybe it's because of the X-Flame, honestly. Because, wait, yeah, so I get flame heat from the X-Flame. And because of that, I get some more attack. But the problem with basic bees was that they don't give abilities, so it's impossible to spawn the X-Flame. So maybe that's why I'm actually doing more attack, because there's actually ability tokens that are spawning. Yo, wait, is this crazy? Oh, I kind of lost my green jelly bean buff. Green jelly beans are good. 
because you get more critical chance for them. And I didn't get any once more. Kind of a scam. Game loves scamming me. But at least I got the X-Flame. X-Flame never disappoints. All right, it's been four minutes and 30 seconds and we've done exactly 10 million damage. By this pace, I'm doing more damage with tadpoles than the basic bees. Like, how is this a thing? I don't understand. Tadpole bees literally have half of the attack that basic bees do. Well, there's a lot of things that you can't explain in the universe. Black holes, how the universe was formed, and how the hell tadpole bees do more damage than basic bees. All very complicated questions, okay? And how's my attack total looking? Okay, 10,000 still. It's pretty steady. It doesn't seem to change at all, actually. Almost like I'm not getting any tokens that benefit attack at all. So it's staying the same. And we are down to 15 million health. And I'm easily 7 minutes. X-Flame, you know I'm always happy to get X-Flame. More attack for me. Less time that I have to suffer killing the Sump Snail. 13 million health. Bro, the attack is going crazy right now. I'm not even kidding. What is going on? Why are there so many big numbers? Oh my gosh. So much damage. <laughs> there are so many freaking frogs. It's like the morning after it rains, dude. It's just raining frogs, literally. 12 million health and 10 million health. Okay, and finally, I am under 10 million health for the Sump Snail. Oh, dude, Festa Bee buff. Let's go. Wait, oh my gosh, I forgot to use Festa Bean. Oh, I should have done this earlier. Okay, Festa Bean actually gives you the Festa buff, which if you didn't know, gives you times 2B move speed. Yeah, it's a little useful. So I definitely should have used this earlier, but I kind of forgot. So this might make my time worse by like 15 seconds, but it's nothing crazy, don't worry. Oh my gosh, dude. I messed up again. Now everyone in the comments is gonna be like, Oh my gosh, Yarx actually didn't use a fresher bean in the first second. Yeah, okay, shut up. Anyway, I, I feel like I'm still going crazy with this attack, dude. 10 minutes and we are at 7.5 million health. The attack is still the exact same, dude. But the bee move speed, it's not. It's literally two times faster. All these tadpoles are zooming, dude. Going back and forth at supersonic speed. All right, 6.6 .6 million, 6.5 million health. I missed a 6.9 million health. I'm kind of sad. I can't make a joke about that now. But at least you guys know how sad I am that I missed 6.9. And dude, why is this guy in here? Leave, please. I'm speedrunning, bro. We live, dude. Please leave the field. Oh my gosh. This is ruining my speedrun. Okay, let's go under 420 million. 4.20 million. Uh, yeah, that's the joke I was also gonna make. Because, you know, 420, it's very funny. Anyway, I'm getting those green jelly beans. Getting those gains. Let's go. And this is the final stretch. How fast can I kill this dumb snail only using tadpole bees? I'll be honest. It is so much faster than I expected. I was out here expecting to waste 40 minutes killing the Slump Snail using Tadpoles, but maybe it's a mix of luck and skill and every single coconut bonking the Slump Snail on the head, uh, except this one. First coconut that I ever missed. Trust. x -flame. Let's go. All right, 2.1 million. Let's go. 2 million. 1.9 million. Okay, I'm not going to point out every single number. That's annoying. But we are about to kill this stupid thing. I'm so excited. And why are there clouds in here, bro? Some dude's literally trying to boost inside of Stump Field, and I'm out here trying to kill the Slump Snail in the world record pace. Yo, look at all these frogs this is insane all right under 1 million it's official this is gonna be a world record but if anyone wants to try and beat this you're welcome to do so inside of the test realm or the main game if, if you're crazy enough and finally some snail please die wait maybe under 13 minutes uh yeah okay never mind i don't think so uh we are about to do it three two one and some snail is dead let's go uh, I got an- and I got an amazing amulet, as you can see. In only 13 minutes and 6 seconds, I killed the stump snail only using tadpole bees. 50 gifted tadpole bees with the attack mutation on each and every one of them. Yeah, this was a lot of suffering. Let's look at this amulet. Plus 1 goo, bump from battle, stump field pollen, pineapple patch pollen. Yeah, complete dog water. Get out of here. Garbage. And let's look at the loot that I got. <clears throat> that wasn't a voice crack. If anyone says it was, I'm gonna ban you. So, 111,000 bond, most important thing, obviously. Star jelly, 75 tickets, 5 gingerbread bears, 12 glues, 5 oils, 10 enzymes, 3 glitter, 25 treats, 100 royal jellies, 100 shop and come jobs, 20 pineapples, 20 sunflower seeds. That was a lot to say. Okay, you guys better drop a like and sub after that. The fastest speaking beast swarm player ever, trust. My tongue is fast, okay? Keep the woman away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I wonder how fast I can kill other things, like the King Beetle, for instance. I'm not gonna use a Star Sob, because I know it's probably gonna one-shot the King Beetle in one second. Do you guys ever have to wait for, like, 25 hours just to get baby love before you kill something like the Stump Snail or Tunnel Bear? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. The one good thing about 50 Gifted Tadpoles is that you always have baby love. So I guess infinite loot luck, and I don't have to wait for 25 hours to get baby love to kill the King Beetle. It's so nice. Alright, how fast can I kill this thing? 
Uh, in, in literally like two seconds. What's the loot? Diamond egg, maybe? Please? Por favor? No, nothing good. Complete dog water loot. Let's try killing the Tullum Bear. And I don't know why I have the speedrun timer. It's kind of useless now. But anyway, let's hop inside of this little Tullum Bear layer. Yeah, so what a lot of people do, including myself, they do a bit of damage to the Tullum Bear, and then they run away for baby love. Luckily for me, I already had baby love. What did I get? Anything good? Uh, okay, gifted silver egg. That's guaranteed on your first ever kill, so nothing special. Uh, I guess I got 10 tickets, one ginger red bear. Pretty much complete dog water. And I got a small balloon, which means, beside from being the best attack hive possible, this is also the best blue hive possible, because you get balloons while killing the sump snail in the world record time. So yeah, this video was a lot of fun to make, and a lot less suffering than I thought, but it was probably the most cursed video I ever made inside of the Beast Storm Test Realm. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, it really does help support me. And tell me in the comments what else you want me to do. Why are you doing badges? I'm trying to do an outro. So yeah, please don't say I forgot the pedal belt. So yeah, if you want, follow me on Twitter, link in the description, and join my Discord, also link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.